Close to My Heart has an amazing new paper crafting kit called Workshops Your Way. Three of these kits were introduced in our new Seasonal Expressions 1 mini catalog. These kits are amazing and will add so much to any of your paper crafting projects. And to help you get the most out of these kits, I am going to share with you my top 10 tips, tricks, and bits of information about the Workshops Your Way kits. All right, number one, the paper. These kits come with 12 sheets of double-sided cardstock weight designer paper. This is amazing, not only because the papers are beautiful, but also because the individual packs of paper are only $9.95 for 12 sheets of paper. That means that you're getting each sheet for less than a dollar. And for designer cardstock weight paper, that is an incredible deal. Each pack of paper comes with, as I mentioned, 12 sheets. You actually receive two each of six designs. So every single design that you see, you will receive two of each. On top of that, one of the designs actually includes these cutaway sheets, which are perfect for using in pocket scrapbooking or just adding beautiful designs, journaling areas, or even just areas on your cards that have these gorgeous designs. Number two, I mentioned that this paper is cardstock weight, but why is that important? Well, when you have paper that's cardstock weight, it is heavy enough to hold any additional paper and embellishments that you put on it. So you can use this paper as a base for your layouts, for your cards, and any other paper crafting projects that you have. Number three, this is actually my favorite trend for 2016, and that's using beautiful but subtle patterned paper as your background. This paper is just one color and it has a very subtle pattern. And let me show you a close up. Now what's nice about this is that instead of using cardstock, you can actually use this because it's light enough that it won't clash with any of the patterns that you have, but it has a nice subtle pattern so that it adds just a little bit of texture to your background. Number four, the embellishments. The Workshops Your Way kits come with coordinating embellishments so that you have everything you need for any project you're working on. Each set of embellishments is the same but a little different. Each comes with two six by six sheets of stickers. One will have sentiments and titles on it. The other will have images and more bubbles that you can use for journaling. The second one are actually die cuts. This particular set of die cuts has vellum and one is just kind of regular colored vellum. The other has this really beautiful silver foil. You'll find with the other kits, there might be other types of die cuts such as craft or plastic sheets to go with it. The third embellishment are our fun puffies, which are puffed up stickers. These particular stickers have glittery silver designs on them. And what's nice about all the puffies is that they're general enough that they can be used on many different projects. And the final embellishment is either washi tape or ribbon. So you can have that nice long strip of you know, ribbon or washi going across your page. This particular kit has one inch of washi and then two quarter inch washi pieces. The other kits, I believe, just have ribbon. So plenty of embellishments for your projects. All right, number five. 
close to my heart, designed three two-page layouts, one pocket layout, and a stack of cards to go with each and every Workshop Your Way kit. Now I'll show you what some of these projects look like, but first I want to make sure you know where to find the instructions because Close to My Heart has given you all the preparation, cutting, and assembly instructions that you'll need for each project. And I want to make sure you know how to find them and use them so you can get the most out of these kits. My sixth tip is to show you where to find the instructions for creating the Workshops Your Way projects, both the layouts and the cards. The first step is to go to my website, and that's at tweetscraps.ctmh.com. And when you get there, simply go to the Products tab, and you'll notice that it has this drop-down menu, and the one that you want is the second one that says Workshops. And when you cl click on Workshops, you get right to the Workshops Your Way kits. Currently, we have three of them, Charlotte, Penelope, and Regatta. And you can see each of them has a layout and a card making project. And when you click, it will take you to the page showing you all the layouts. So these are the three two page layouts for Penelope. And then this is the uh, pocket scrapbooking page that you can also create. And if you go back and you click on card making, it will take you to a page that shows you in a second all the cards that you can create, plus the additional materials that you'll need to create them. If we go back to layouts, you'll notice up here it says this guide, and if you click on this guide, it will take you to the cutting, prepping, and assembly instructions. And you can, of course, save these, print them out, whatever you want to do. So for my seventh tip, when you look at this cutting diagram, you'll see that there's a lot of numbers and letters, and the numbers are kind of the most important because they let you know what project they're going towards. You can see here it says darker pieces are for card cuts. So one way that you can tell the difference between pieces for layouts and pieces for cards are the shading. The lighter shaded areas are for layouts, the darker shading are for cards. The other way is by the numbers. The first three projects will always be layouts. So if you see one, two, or three, you know that those pieces go towards the layouts. Any numbers higher than three, here's a six, here's a five, those go towards cards. My eighth tip is down here. You can see they show you the paper, the front and the back of the paper that you're going to be using. What's nice about this is they also show you the direction that you should hold your paper as you're cutting it so that when you put it on your layout or your card, the pattern is facing the correct direction. So this you can see the leaves are in kind of a vertical position and on the back the, these uh, blue stripes are in a horizontal position. So then you'll know which way to hold the paper as you're cutting. And as you continue to scroll down, you'll see that there's more cutting uh, instructions. And on the next page, they actually show you the cut apart sheet as well as the zip strips that you'll be using. The zip strips are actually these top portions of the paper pack. One side has information about the paper pack, the other side has a design. And so this will tell you which designs you'll be using. If you continue to scroll, you'll come to each of the layouts and cards. And it shows you a picture of the layout that you'll be creating along with the drawing that shows you which pieces you'll want to use. And here's kind of a bonus tip. You'll notice that it says 1A, 1B, 1D, 1C. That's actually the same numbers and letters that you saw on the cutting diagram. And so when you're cutting these out, one of the best things you can do is take a pencil and on the back of the sheet, write the letter and number, the 1A and 1B. That way, when you get to the layout, you'll know exactly which piece goes where. And then finally, at the bottom, Close to My Heart provides you with some awesome tips. These are things like 
the order that you should place things down. Um, if you need to use any of the cutaway cards and the types of embellishments and where they go on the page. As you can see here, there are three two-page layouts and a stack of cards. To finish off my tips, tricks, and bits of information, I will give you number nine, which is these gorgeous layouts actually have no stamping. They use only the puffies, ribbon, or washi, and the gorgeous compliments, and that is it. So you can create three gorgeous layouts very quickly with no stamping. And finally, the cards. You'll notice on these cards that there is an additional element here, these stamped flowers. Now, the stamps that created these flowers do not come with the kit. This is a bonus if you would like to get it. And what's nice about this is that if you like the stamp set and you want to get it, great, go for it. But if you don't want to do any extra stamping, you can just use leftovers from your kit. Or if you just want to use a stamp set that you already own, you can go for it. So these kits were really set up to be as flexible as possible for you so you can make whatever decision you want with your paper crafting. Now what's cool about these flower images is that they're not just beautiful stamp sets. They are beautiful stamp sets that come with coordinating thin cut die cuts. This is brand new to Close to My Heart and I am so excited about this. You can see here all these beautiful images are also shown on the thin cut sheets so you know what you're getting on both. And both of them have outlines around the images that can be cut and coordinated together. So you can stamp your image and then use your cuddle bug or your big shot or whatever it is you have to die cut out the image. And I have to show you one little bonus thing that I think is so awesome. The die cuts, our thin cuts, come on this magnetic sheet. What's great about this is that I have used die cuts from other company and companies and I've noticed that they tend to come on just paper sheets with like glue on them so you have to sort of rip off the die cuts to get them out and then when you store them they're just all sort of scattered within whatever little pouch they have. But with this magnetic sheet they're easy to take on and off and when you place them on there they don't fall off so it's a lot easier to keep track of. So those are my tips, tricks, and bits of information for the new Workshops Your Way kits. I hope you've learned something new, and I would love to hear from you if you've made any of these kits or if you've done your own thing. Please feel free to share. Thank you and happy crafting.